What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and welcome to another booster box opening. We have box number three of Evolving Skies. This box is for my patron Montre. Uh, Montre, best of luck and thank you for your support. Uh, when I asked what Montre is looking for, he said, uh, you know, not much, just a Umbreon V, V, or slash V Max Alt Art, uh, Sylveon V, V, or V Max Alt Art, and the Espeon. That's a tall order, but uh, you know we'll, we'll try our best. See if we can't get one of those. All right. Oh wait, let me just take all these out. But as always, before we begin, if you guys want to support the channel? Easiest way is simply by liking. And if you're not subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate that. And here we go into pack number one. That kind of open, kind of weird. All right, so let's see, what should we talk about in this video? We're gonna go start going pretty quickly as all the commons and uncommons and all these pincers are all starting to mix together. We've seen them all. Oh wait, there's some cool uncommons that hit. But yeah, I think um, for some topics, we'll talk about kind of like how my own life is evolving just because Mantra did ask his message to me. He said, how is uh, the new home doing? And uh, he said, how's home ownership going? It can be a pain. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of let you guys know how that's, or let Montre know how it's going and anyone else that wants to listen. And I think we'll talk a little bit about kind of like approaching collecting um, for new sets. None of this is kind of like new information, but I feel like it is worth repeating every once in a while. Roma Girl, very triggering for me from the EV Hero days. All right, nothing to show for anything so far all right let's pick things up so how's the house doing um it's a lot more space coming from a one bedroom apartment um ooh, we got our first hit a glacian v max i'm always a fan of ice so happy to pick up glacian centering issues are still there uh not one of the ones that um where's my sleeves Montre asked for but a solid hit nonetheless And let's just see if we got any cool uncommons. Nothing. But um, yeah, it can be a, a pain indeed. Uh, I imagine like, you know, whenever you move into a new place and uh, the stuff that is, you know, not necessarily wrong, but that you kind of want to address just kind of grows pretty quickly. And, you know, coming, moving in, we knew there was a handful of things like, all right, we have to uh, do some repairs on the roof. Um, one of the bathrooms doesn't have a vent, which is kind of weird. And it has like a shower, but no vent. It has a window, uh, but we do want to put in a vent in there. Uh, so those kind of things we knew going into it. Uh, for myself, it's like, all right, well, I'm going to store some stuff in the basement. And um, it has a dehumidifier, which doesn't work that well. And so now I have to spend, I always spend like $200 on a nice dehumidifier. Um, yeah, we're still getting quotes on the roof and the, the vents. Um, one one thing that uh, I guess I kind of knew going in, but living in outside of Boston, like a small city outside of Boston for the past like 10 years, um, I forgot what it's like to live in a place with a yard that you have to maintain, <laughs> which is, uh, so, all right, and the grass just grows so fast. <laughs> Uh, especially this summer where it's been super sunny and a lot of rain so that's been fun uh but yeah a lot of um you know as you would expect a lot of things to keep an eye on and you know you're you care much more about everything because there's no landlord that you can simply call so nothing i'm sure like no one is like surprised by any of this but uh you know when it just happens to you and it's like just a lot of stuff going on and you know you already have work and everything so it's been um overall it's been nice but uh yeah it's kind of been a lot so let's get back to the cards uh we got one evolution so far which is nice but we're already a almost a fourth a fourth through the box already and all we got is that galatian um 
I feel like so far the boxes have been giving us our secret rares pretty quickly. And this is kind of why, where as you get further and further into the box, you're wondering, oh no, is this gonna be one of those no secrets, possibly no alt art boxes, which unfortunately we do know exists. I feel like, uh, shout out to everyone on the Discord server, but and um, yeah, like, F for respects. Um, for some of the tough luck that we've had in our chats as far as evolving skies goes. Or I'm not sure it's because people, it's like everyone's sharing the the pain that uh, maybe maybe the person that's got like a bunch of the alt art, the good ones, doesn't want to like be that guy that it's like, oh my gosh, that person's so lucky. But uh, all right, come on, we got to start getting some hits. Oh my gosh, this is... A very rough start. Let's see, we got maybe four packs left in the first half of the box. But let's talk about kind of like the general approach to collecting. Again, none of this is going to be new information for any of you most, or definitely won't be any new information, but I think it bears repeating. Uh, kind of like, um, you know, I feel like it always helps to just remind yourself that actually, you know, to whatever your collecting goals are, most likely um, the best way to get there is via singles. And obviously, crack and packs is basically what a trading card game is all about. Or I guess it's about trading, but um, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, but you know, as far as like, you know, what's my approach going to be? I'll probably wait a little bit. Um, and once single prices start going down, start picking some up. I think I picked up just like a couple alt arts. I think it was like the Leafeon V alt art on eBay. I do think that the price will go down a little bit more. Um, all right, we got a hit right here. A, oh, there's that Leafeon V. All right, speaking of uh, speak of the devil, speak of the evolution. But that's, that's probably gonna be my own plan. And it seems like a lot of people on the Discord server and a bunch of the patrons kind of have a same, similar idea, especially after, you know, this set, I feel like it's, Oh, uh, feast or famine? You know, not maybe. Uh, is it bad, as bad as Champion's Path? Um, but you know, it can be. Let's just say it can be brutal. Uh, some of the boxes that people shared in the Discord server, where it's like, you know, only five hits. That's so bad. Or you know, no secret rare, no alt art. Um, yeah, and these things are not cheap, especially if you have to buy on the secondary market. Oh, I thought we had another hit right there. Right, you into a smeargle. But as always, um, that, that would be my advice and kind of like how I'm going to approach it. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take, you know, till like the next wave, whenever that is, for prices to kind of hit like a reasonable, reasonable range. And it's interesting where we kind of get a new set. And I feel like normally there's like one card that's kind of like a hundred dollar card or something like that. Ooh, okay. We are our third hit, a Suicune V Full Arts. All right, um, even though legendary dogs are always cool, uh, I feel like it's rare that I'm actually hoping to get one. I feel like in general, I always hold the birds in a higher regard than the dogs. But uh, that one looks pretty cool. I like it. And I kind of lost my train of thought. All right, we're already about like nine minutes in, so we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Not sure we got anything in this pack. Nick it into a Talon Flame. But yeah, so, you know, like the Rayquazas and then, you know, a lot of the uh, VMAX alt arts, um, you know, if they're kind of still going for like over $100, uh, that's that's cool for the set and actually does kind of, you know, make you want to crack more packs. Uh, but then when you hit that Brutal box, oh man, that's uh, so disheartening. Um, but yeah, hopefully prices do drop down a little bit and um, we can start, you know, filling in the collection or at least the for you, whatever your chase cards are. And overall, I think this set, you know, just so many good cards, um, but the, the booster boxes feel like there's more variance as far as hits um, from very little data, <laughs> from a bunch of anecdotal data and what, like, four boxes from myself. I uh, haven't hit a 
Kind of like a home run box yet. So we got the Galarian Zapdos. One thing I'm curious to see how, you know, long term are the pre release promos. Uh, because I feel like those birds, um, you know, the regular hollows, they're not too exciting. And then, you know, there's the, the pre release promo. How much does that add to it? Um, and we'll kind of see how things go long term. I did pick up some singles. Hope to do a mail day for you all real soon. We got a ribbon badge. Oh, another sweet coon. This is a legendary dog box, it seems. Hopefully, that doesn't end up being our secret rare as well. All right, Suicune so number two and Eve two evolutions. I suppose if half of our hits are evolutions, that's all good. But, all right, well, and halfway through the box, no secret rare, no altar yet. Come on, let's go. Boost shake into the dragon apple. But anyway, let me know how your hunt is going so far. And um, yeah, kind of what your approach is going to be when it comes to uh, this set. You know, what are your chase and are you just going to wait to pick it up at a reasonable price? Or uh, I feel like a couple years ago, I was just like, I'm just going to keep cracking packs. Um, and or these days, that's just like so expensive. Um, once, you know, whatever few boxes I managed to get go through or at a reasonable price get opened whether it's for myself or patrons and then at that point things get real expensive hopefully once um you know some more collection box kind of type of products come out um, they'll kind of make give alternate ways to pick up some more evolving skies obviously like there's not many ETBs out there and or they're really expensive given the what was it delays or shortages I can't remember uh, but then like the EV tins, you know, only had one evolving skies, which is like, I feel like that's been the practice for, I don't know, as long as I can remember, or since I came back to the hobby, kind of like during, uh, what was it like Burning Shadows Crimson Invasion time, where those products just came with the two of the latest sets, and then kind of like one previous, and then one older set from like a previous era. And we're kind of deviating from, uh, from that practice, Starting, starting now, unfortunately. So, but yeah, hopefully, kind of go back to that in some of the upcoming, upcoming boxes and stuff like that. All right, Montre, we still have a lot of ground to cover. A Thievel and then a Dialga. What is this thing in the corner? Is it just like the dragon type? This kind of has like a claw mark over here in the top right corner. I just noticed that. It's kind of interesting. Got another Stormy Mountain. But uh, all right, let me just do a quick recap because this is brutal so far. Uncommons and oh my, only four. All right, if this is as, if this doesn't shape up real quick, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do, Andre, but we're gonna have to do something for you. All right, we got something else. Looks like it's gonna be a regular V. We got a tree. Trevenant V. That is not one of the ones we're looking for. Sorry, I'm not sure if there's a, there's probably a secret rare tree. Um, I suppose, assuming the secret rare or the alt hearts or both are in that stack, we don't want it to be the tree. So let's keep positive. Keep going. We got a badge into Ampharos. All right, now I'm getting real nervous. When it comes to like you know getting those secret rare alt arts out of the way early, maybe it makes for a less exciting end. But uh, I'm sweating. Emolga, Zinnia's resolve. I like the flower of Zinnia. Looks pretty cool. All right, how many we got left? Five. Oh my gosh! If all of these are hits, I feel like hit wise, it still wouldn't be like an outrageous box. Drowsy. That's something. Come on. I think it is something. All right. Dracosult V Max. I thought it was an apple at first. All right. So we'll take we'll take hits for now. Flappy. 
Alright, what was this? Four packs remaining. Man, this set is gonna be brutal. Unless you're open like one little chance that like, opens like a thousand at a time. Man, this feels like high stakes. Yeah, what happened to some of those consistent ratios? Oh, okay, yeah, the, all the dragon types seem to have this little slash mark. Sharpedo. Okay, Montre, come on. Alright, looks like another regular V. Espeon, okay. Getting some more evolutions. What does that bring it up to? Like six or seven? Let's get one more hit. Please be a secret rare. Or oh, Rayquaza last. Alright, that would make some uh, super clutch last pack magic. Let's go. Or second to last. A little Hermit Crab, a Litleo, to a Thievil. Oh boy. Whew. Pressure is on. Here we go, Montre. I feel like we have to have a part two. Oh my gosh. What a bust. Alright, um. Whew. All right, Montre, thank you so much for the support. I'm going to reach out to you. We're going to figure something out. We're going to have a part two for your break because that was absolutely brutal. Um, I mean, we've heard about worse on the Discord, uh, but that was quite bad. So either way, guys, thanks for watching. F, F in the comments for Montre, and uh, we'll figure something out. Stay tuned for part two of Montre's break. And we are back. Shoutouts to Montre. Just got back from me. Uh, sounds like he's a pretty good sport about it, but I said uh, let's give you some extra packs to ooh, do some damage control. All right, we got two Umbreon, two Rayquaza uh, sleeve arts. All right, two Sylveon. Umbreon, all right. Oh. <laughs> if only that meant something. <laughs> as far as seeing the evolutions you want on the pack and then a skyscraper. But oh man, so yes, yeah, we're talking about like the way to approach this set it's more always it's the correct approach is always singles uh i feel like so far it really applies um and on this channel it's oh man these these boxes are brutal all right here we go redemption time come on Ooh. sure what i saw uh just a marsh shadow and a zorua for that pack all right umbria <laughs> I need, I need one of these evolutions to come in clutch right here. Alright, got a little Pikachu. Ooh, okay, we got something at least. Alright, we got a dupe, but hey, we got one more <laughs> evolution for you. Alright, bring it to eight. Still like, uh, you know, not, not getting those hits we're looking for. But we managed to up that ratio a little bit. Alright, alright, double, I was gonna say, let's save Sylveon for last. Eevee. Oh, all right. Montreal. <laughs> I'm glad this is, uh, you know, we didn't get alt art, but we got still got one more pack, but I do see rainbow back there. So, all right. Sometimes redemption packs do work as intended. Here we go. Lycanroc. I didn't even know Lycanroc was in this set. <laughs> but at this point, we're going to take it. There you go, Montre. Now, now we're up to solid numbers. Um, still, you know, still leaves a little bit to be desired. Let's see. Okay, so if you buy like those sleeves, um, actually the centering feels a little bit better. Still not perfect. Still like it's shifted up just a little bit. But um, all right, now I feel like I can sleep at night. Um, whew, all right, I feel very relieved. And here we go. One more pack for you. To wrap up this, oh my man, my videos always end up pretty long. A apple to wrap things up. Montre, thank you so much for the support and for being a good sport. All right, we managed to get a secret rail in the end. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm Wonder Turtle. Catch you guys next time. Peace.